There we go. Done. You like it? Good morning guys, it's been a minute since I did a vlog. I just thought I would check in with you guys and check up on you guys. As you can see, I still struggle with how to do baby hairs. I really, really suck at it. I'm not good at it. Avi wanted to say hi. I hope you're all doing well. Like seriously, I hope you're doing well. It's a stressful time in the world. We're uh, self-quarantining at home. Um, I haven't left the house in about two weeks. And obviously we're going a little bit nuts at home, as you can see. <laughs> no, we're, we're doing all right. We're keeping ourselves entertained. Got the kids at the house, got my parents staying at the house. Have like a million pets at the moment. All my parents' pets are here. So we've got Oscar, we've got George the guinea pig, we've got Jasper the cat, got mum's new dog that she rescued from the pound, Birdie the cavoodle, uh, and Zoe wants to say hi. Hey Zoe! <laughs> She's so cute. Every time she gets her hair done, she has to run and show it off. She's so cute. She's got such a personality of her own. I can't believe she's nearly two. Anyway, I gotta go and do Ava's hair and then yeah, we'll just get on with our day. What are you doing, Zoe? Hi. Hi. Who are you hiding from? The doggies. The doggies? Zoe, can you see Zoe? There she is. Come in. Daddy! Wait, 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 wait. I found a spider. I'm gonna squish the spider. Don't worry. I got him. He's squished. Use the ball to squish the spider with. That's what you gotta do. You just gotta pick up whatever is close and squish that spider. <laughs> All right, ready, steady, go! <laughs> you want a piggyback? to mix it up with. I think we need to put some milk in there first. Let me just double check. It smells so good. It does smell really yummy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Cupcakes are finished. They don't, uh, they don't look that pretty, but they smell good, don't they? <sighs> By the way, guys, this is the new member of our family. His name is Birdie. He's a three-year-old cavoodle. 
and he was rescued from the same pound that Louis was from and he's, he's very skinny, his hair was really knotted uh, so we're just trying to nurse him back to how he should be. Uh, he's very, very happy though. He's a beautifully natured dog. He's also the first pet my mum has ever had. He seems to like her better than my dad. I don't know how long that'll last because animals always end up liking my dad best, but she's trying her best to keep it that way. <laughs> You having fun, Birdie? Do it. Ouch. I think you need to start cleaning up, baby. This is my cat Jasper. He's a 12 year old Burmese. Some of you guys who've been watching since the beginning probably remember him. He's uh, been living with my parents for about seven years now and he's a little bit scared of the kids. Oh. And he's off to find a hiding place. So I was going through my downstairs closet this morning and it's a bit of a mess and I stumbled across a couple of PR packages that have been sitting there for honestly, I think, I think probably a few months. I, I put them in there, I meant to open them and I totally forgot about it. And one of them was from this company called Curly Kids and they sent me their entire range of hair care products for kids. I use them all the time. I guess that's why they were nice enough to send me some products. Um, so thank you so much Curly Kids. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to try out some of the other products. I've never used your gel. Something that I do use all the time is the conditioner. I use the Super Detangle Shampoo. I find it works really well. Um, I use the Detangle Spray. I like that. And sometimes I use the leave-in conditioner as well. I find that that works really well, especially on Ava's hair. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. She's actually asleep on the swig. Zoe has fallen asleep on the swig. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was so big! <laughs> I'm not calling that again! Alright, let's do it! Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Stop calling that again! I don't know if I can get that high again! This is clean! Alright, one. <laughs> Man, I need to clean this trampoline. All the stuff in the trees all over it. So I have some really exciting news for you guys. Zoe is fully potty trained now. You don't need nappies anymore, do you? She tells me when she needs to go to the toilet. She wears uh, nappies just at night, just so that we don't have any accidents in the bed. But she's actually been waking up completely dry. She woke me up at 7 a.m. the other morning nudging me saying daddy need to go potty i was so proud if you're a parent you'll understand how proud you are when your kid all of a sudden starts consistently 
using the toilet. If you're not a parent, you'll just think this is a really weird thing to be excited about because that's what I used to think before I was a parent. I was like, your kid can go to the toilet. It's not that big of a deal, but it is. And I'm so proud of you, Zoe. You want to go outside, back on the yeah. swing? Mm -hmm. You want to go back to sleep? All right, we'll go on the swing again and hopefully you don't fall asleep. I, I will. You will. It's <laughs> so funny. Every time I say, I hope you don't do something, you always say, I will. I will, Daddy. <laughs> I will, Daddy. Okay, I just found my shoes. Whoa! I ventured out to the supermarket today. It was the first time that I've gone to the supermarket or any store in about two weeks now. <laughs> it was kind of exciting. Like just going out and talking to other people was exciting. It's something that we used to really take for granted and now all of a sudden just seems like so amazing and things like getting fresh meat. The last time I went to the supermarket, the, shel the, the shelves were bare. There was no fresh meat. You weren't able to get chicken breasts. You weren't able to get, you definitely weren't able to get pasta. Uh, you weren't able to get mints. You weren't able to get just basic stuff that we've come to take for granted. And I feel like this whole coronavirus situation really has made us all learn to appreciate the simple things in life that actually aren't that simple. We're, we've just been so incredibly blessed for so long that we've just got to a point in life where we just take these amazing things that we have at our disposal for granted. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to be making pasta with chicken, fresh chicken tonight. Anyway, if you like today's vlog, make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and most importantly, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself physically and mentally. Don't let it get to you because we're all gonna get through this. We're all going through this. And reach out to the people that you care about the most and make sure that they're doing okay as well. Anyway, bye.